Hello there, I wanted to do a quick tutorial to show how I go about sidechaining in FL Studio. Now there's a number of ways of sidechaining, of course you can route the kick sound or the sidechain signal into the synth sound um, and have it um, duck the signal based on the audio, but I like to have it set up um, with a manual MIDI trigger. Um, recently I've been using ShaperFox to do this. In this demo project I've set up a synth sound, a fuzzy synth sound and a kick drum. And they've routed to separate channels on the mixer. And um, for this method, I don't actually need to do anything with the kick sound itself. I'm going to create a new track in the mixer here, which I'm going to call Sidechain. And on this track, I'm going to put a shaper box. In shaper box, you have these presets when you load up. I'm going to go to volume and I'm going to click the sidechain preset at the bottom here. To set up a side chain preset curve, I'm going to set it to MIDI mode and I'm going to go into MIDI here and I'm going to set input port zero first empty MIDI routing. I'm then going to set up the trigger by going onto a new uh, instance here on the channel rack and going to select the MIDI out plugin. Output port will be set to zero by default. You can name this sidechain. I'm also going to make a MIDI pattern called sidechain. And in here, I'm going to place a MIDI note with sidechain selected. This is a MIDI note which will trigger the MIDI out instrument on channel rack. And this will send MIDI to the shaper box here and will trigger this volume automation each time that the MIDI is triggered. All I need to do now is treat this as a bus. For organization, I'm actually going to put a separator here and I might recolor it a random color. Any tracks that I now want to be side chained, or in other words, ducked by the MIDI trigger, I now root exclusively to this sidechain track so I'm going to go to root to this track only and we should now have a ducking sound every time the kick is played and I can replicate this wherever a kick occurs I get rid of the kick you still hear the ducking sound if I wanted to create a second level of sidechain Maybe I had a different sound. So over here, I've now placed um, some snare sounds. Uh, and I might want um, this to be ducked less. So all I do is I create a second sidechain track. And on here, I can take the same um, Plugin, but I could reduce the amount of sidechain by lowering the mix level and I could trigger it with another instance of um, this MIDI so I can go here and I can clone this I can call this uh, port 1 instead of port 0 I'm going to make this pattern unique in here I'm going to have this pattern be triggering sidechain number 2 and I'm going to go on to the instance of shaper box on the second sidechain track and I'm going to go to the settings and I'm going to set the input port as one um, to do this I would need to root um, the sound to this track what I'd probably do is make a second instrument sound and route that separately you can now see that there is some ducking occurring but not as much as before um, you can also um, Obviously, route as many instruments as you'd like to the same side chain, and you could also, instead of having a second um, track, you could just go and automate this th throughout the song. So maybe I have a verse where the kick that I'm using is uh, of less amplitude than the kick that I'm using in the drop, and I might just come in here and I'll set an automation that sets this as a lower level for the duration of the verse. That's how I set up Sidechain um, in FL Studio these days using Shaperbox 3. 